Hey guys, it's uh, LNS here once again doing another. I'm going to do another show into online battle commentary, and uh, this is a little channel update that I'll be doing. Uh, basically, before this, I just played a uh, match, and um, uh, it's really disappointing how the game has become. Uh, I was playing against the uh, level 9 gold prestige, and um, you you guys will see what he brought and what I brought, and uh, <clears throat> I thought I could have won because because uh, I thought I had the advantage, but then uh, in the end, uh, spoiler, I lost the match. So, uh, but I'm still gonna show you guys how I lost it. So uh, <clears throat> I will be back when the uh, replay loaded. All right. All right, and we are back. Um, let's take a look at my build first. Um, for this uh, match, I brought uh, two matchlock samurai, two bow ashigaru, and uh, one daikyu samurai veteran as my uh, skirmish component. And then I brought uh, one, four units of uh, vanilla katana samurai and two units of three units of naginara attendants. Over here on the right flank, I brought three units of uh, nodachi samurai, uh, non uh, vanilla as well, and one naginara attendant here to protect them. They are hidden in the woods. And for my calf component, I have uh, two units of Naginara Warren Mon calf and one light calf. So uh, let's take a look at my opponent's build. Um, you can see he brought all spears and uh, two units of cavalry, no missile component at all. And uh, he has three Naginara attendants meet shield in front. I'm just gonna fast forward this a bit, because uh, right. And then he has um, one, one, two, three. Four, uh, five, six units of uh, Naginara Warrior Monks, and then uh, four units of Yari Ash. They're all uh, pretty high level, by the way, level five, and uh, and a long Yari Ash. All right, and that's it. That's his army. All spears and uh, two calf. And oh, he also had a uh, he had two Naginara Warrior Monk, uh, one Naginara Warrior Monk calf, and then uh, three bow calf. Alright, so over here I'm uh, trying to take the uh, workshop which uh, is going to increase my defense and um, basically what I tried to do was to capture this uh, workshop to try and increase my defense a bit to give my guys a bit of fighting chance, I had all the sword retainers so my katana sams have a uh, pretty decent stats uh, 15 attack and 6 defense uh, really good for vanilla unit basically I wanted to use them as just a, as a unit to hold up but and. Um, my skirmish component will do uh, more damage. I wanted my skirmish component to do the more damage as my uh, katana sends help help his uh, units up. So basically, uh, I won the uh, fight for the workshop, and um, yeah, I lost my light calf kind of stupidly. I uh, overextended myself, but uh, yeah, I, I caused a little bit of confusion for him. And uh, I, um, I, uh, I notified his uh, care component at the later part of the game. Alright, so my calf is winning here, but uh, you can see how, just how like, yeah, he's a uh, go prestige, but you look at his army and look at, look at him, he's charging his bow calf into my monk calf, like, really? <coughs> Who the hell would do that, man? And my monk calf is still kind of holding up pretty well. But uh, I wanted to, uh, I should have put my monk calf back a bit more and maybe send a spear, but oh well. So I'm pushing up uh, my main force over here because his calf and his general is kind of um, messed up over here. So you can see my Nagi monk calf survived and he's still charging his bow calf. I mean, um, if you're, de you're a decent player, you won't charge bow calf into a, 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 a calf uh, like the uh, monk calf. So, uh, um, what I'm trying to say is, uh, even though this guy is gold prestige and many, maybe many others are gold prestige, and I, I think this guy is uh, quite highly ranked on the ladder because he wanted to uh, heal camp over here when I, I pushed up my uh, um, missile component. Look at him, and then and then I was like, oh really? I'm gonna heal camp? And then I, I think he kind of got pissed and then began charging on his whole army. But you can see he clearly wanted to go for the hill and just sit there. But uh, yeah, uh, his calf over here. I took out his monk calf, I think. So, pretty really bad use of calf on his part. And uh, over here, um, this is where the main attack is gonna be. I position all my nodachis on the right, and you can see my um, uh, guy is firing off. 
and uh, just send out my Nagi tendons to uh, just hold them up for a bit, even though that's a morale shot by my match looks. Put my general in stand and fight. And uh, you can see he just he's just charge he's just gonna charge all his troops in without any like micro or anything. He's just gonna target each one of them and charge them in. And uh, you can see two units going to one Nagi attendance. Really are you that like I don't get it. So I'm sending in my katana samurai. Uh, spreading them kind of thin to uh, take out his uh, monks, but uh, it's really it's really hard to win uh, this kind of engagement. But you can see his his uh, some of his units are starting to waver. So it's not uh, the fact that I have uh, bad strategy. It's just the units. His his spears are all his. Look at it. Twenty two melee defense. Uh, Seventeen melee defense. Nineteen melee defense. I mean. And, and they're not even level 10, so really, sh um, what I think is Shogun is really dying because of all these kind of players. I mean, you can win them by doing the same, but personally, I really want to look at him just put his Nagi monks here, just letting my matchlock fire at them. So, he's not that good of a player in terms of uh, micro and strategies, just the kind of units people bring that uh, makes them win the battle. And I, I, I don't really blame them for that, but. Uh, I find it really boring as I said a lot in my previous video and um, you can see my forces just start to crumble like as soon as they hit them I mean yeah they are non-veterans but I have a leadership general and uh, this Nodachis did pretty well I guess beat up his uh, Nagi monks to like half of their strength but you can't really do much when um, your opponent brings so much uh, monks so I wanted to give you guys uh, a pretty decent game so so I can put up a video on YouTube, but uh, I ended up getting this. So I just and the previous match was against a zero star, so I didn't really want to put that up. So I just decided to put this in. And yeah, this is the kind of game I got. And uh, you can see he's just charging blatantly all his units into one of my unit, and uh, it's really disappointing seeing how this game has come. Yeah, to be honest, that's, that's all I gotta say. And they are even coming out with the new the new DLC. For the samurai, um, they'll have that. They'll, they'll be getting guns in it. So I really don't know what the hell CA is thinking. But until um, this vanilla shogun gets fixed, I probably won't be playing at all. Maybe like one game per week just to try and get a video up for you guys. But uh, other than that, uh, I'm not really gonna play this piece of shit. Uh, I see it was pretty close, even though uh, I brought. Uh, a vanilla infantry core. You can see uh well, let's take a look. He has uh, one two units of Nagi uh two units of Nagi Nada warrior monks left. He had six and he had two units left and I with the crazy defense they got the they got kinda of massacred by my uh vanilla katana sams and Otachis but still it's too many for the them for my uh vanilla katanas to handle so uh, I still, in the end, I still lost this uh, battle, but uh, my strategy was there, but uh, it's just, I thought I could have won, really, and I give you guys a really good game, but uh, I failed to do that, so I'm really sorry, guys, um, and for those of you, those of you who, continue, who still continue playing uh, Shogun, um, if you want to win, you can do, I guess, you, you'll go the spear way, like how this guy went. Um, but I really don't recommend it because you play games to have fun. I mean, I can't change the way you think. Uh, you play games to win. Uh, of course, who doesn't want to win, right? But uh, if you win with uh, a decent, legit, uh, uncheesy tactic like bringing katana sands and shit. And uh, basically, uh, I just find that really there's no point in playing when when you all every build you're gonna take to to a fight consists of all that shit you just saw <laughs> so yeah this is a little rant and a little channel update i guess um i'll be playing i'll be putting up more battlefield 3 and uh, company of heroes uh, videos and also maybe uh some skyrim videos and uh some man of war videos and uh two Till CA decides to fix this, I'm not really gonna upload much Shogun too, so I'm really really sorry. 
uh, to disappoint the guy, the, the guys who uh, who like show them to on my channel. Uh, I'll try to put one video out as I said before many times, but I'll, even if I lose, I'll just put it up because I don't really give a crap anyway. <laughs> I just I play. Like, uh, let me show you guys my one of my uh, uh, builds. It's the uh, like the normal katana build. This is the normal katana build I bring. Uh, five units of katana sams, two yari ash, four from one tetsubo monk hero, uh, warrior monk, warrior hero, warrior monk hero. <laughs> And uh, four units of Nagi attendants, three mounted samurai, and two bow ash, and one mesh lock. I mean, this this is a really fun build, especially if you if you manage to beat those uh, monk spam. So you guys can try it out if you want to. And uh, so yeah, basically uh, this is it. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this battle, and I'll see you guys soon.